hi guys this is williams uh, i recently did a youtube live on resume and cv introduction and basics for which i got some really very good comments and uh, some of the feedbacks that were uh, really important for me were that even though the entire session was very nice but uh, many guys have also put in a comment that it's really very long around 50 minutes a video 50 minutes long it's sometimes uh, dif very difficult to watch throughout so they asked me if i can put it up in a very precise form so i'm just trying to put the precise form of this particular entire presentation so um, uh, the entire presentation uh, will be going on in the screen in the form of ppts and i would be trying to explain the entire thing in a shortest possible way so the title was resume and cv introduction and uh, basics uh, first of all you would like to start with the definition of what uh, a cv means that is a cv is a brief account of a person's educational qualifications and his previous occupations so generally it's sent with a typically for a job application and it's derived from a latin word which means a course of life so it the word cv itself means that it is a summary it means it is a history of someone's educational qualification as well as his previous occupational that is his professional career his achievements and all those things whereas a resume is a precise summary of your work experience and background relevant to a job so for students it is a precise summary of your academic experience or academic qualifications or achievements whatever you call and that has been derived from the french word which means summary so the takeaway from this particular definition is cv is generally uh, long it depends and uh, resume has to be precise okay so if i just try to put out the difference between a resume and a cv resume would should preferably be one or two pages two pages at the max this is in view of the target audience which most of the time they would be uh, students who have just passed out and uh, might be some freshers so for them i think resume has to be just one or two pages at the most whereas cv as we all discussed it can be longer depending as on your experience and your achievements professional as well as academic resume uh, has to be industry specific if you are applying to some industry it has to be your skills as well as the talents and qualifications has to be related to that industry if you are applying to an academic institution it has to be related specific for that purpose if you are applied for applying for a research purpose research scientific jobs then in that case you have to direct it in that way whereas a cv because it contains a description of almost all your achievements as well as your qualifications it is common for almost all the places to wherever you are applying resume obviously as we discussed it emphasizes your skills suited specifically for the job for which you are applying whereas your cv emphasizes your academic as well as you can say your professional qualifications and accomplishments uh, the most important part of this particular presentation is guys this uh, slide which mentions do's and don'ts so one of the most important things it's not compulsory to put up your photo on your cv or resume but uh, if you put it it's okay but please ensure that it's not your childhood photo might be edited or selfies or pouts or what all put it a proper uh, passport size photo and a recent one objective is again another important aspect of your cv when you're applying for any job please put it out in the best possible way which describes your attitude or your expectations from the job it can be as simple as i want to work in a progressive environment where i can apply the skills apply my skills to the best of my knowledge and ensure symbiotic growth for the organization as well as for myself that's it please don't copy it and ensure that you can explain your objective to the others most of the time it happens that students copy these objectives from other friends and then if the interviewer asks them okay please uh, explain what do you mean by objective and then they are like blah 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 and they are lost and then they are asked to get lost so please uh, ensure that such things don't happen to you guys optimum length uh, an interview might be uh, glancing through around 50 or 100 CVs or resumes on one particular day when he is recruiting. So please ensure that your resume don't go unnecessarily long. Just taking the case of this particular video, if my video is around 50 minutes long, people won't prefer much. But if at all it's around 4-5 minutes, definitely they will think of uh, giving it a chance. The same applies to your resume also. Keep it at an optimum length one or at the most two pages order is again something technical that is important in your resume there can be two formats the first one is in order that is uh, you mention the things in the order in which they have occurred that is 
suppose if i am mentioning my academic credentials or academic qualifications the first thing that happened is ssc then hsc then bachelors and then masters this is how i put it down that is what is known as in order or the common or the more popular one is the latest first that is whatever has uh, happened last you put it that you put that first because generally that is what is the most important or most interesting uh, to the people who are recruiting you that is generally you put up your masters or bachelors first and then you put down your 12th and then you go down to ssc so this thing is important and uh, ensure that all the details that you put up in your cv follow one of these two orders either latest first or in order please ensure that your cv is uh, not messy and descriptive don't write short notes and don't write essays on your resume please keep it to the point write the things to the point don't make it a long paragraph or might be your examination answer sheet because the more messy you make it the more difficult you make it for the interviewers and obviously they won't like making their jobs more difficult always try to keep it short and sweet sweet means just keep it to the point just mention whatever you want to don't keep on elaborating the things so just keep it short and sweet proper formatting of the content is very important the size and the uh, style of your headings the size and the style of your rest of the content your body alignment all these things are very important please ensure that you do all these things properly hobby is one of the things that i have found most of the students copying they just copy these hobbies from their friends from whom they are copying the cvs also they just, even though they have never read a book in their life they will just mention their hobby to be reading books and when the interview ask them okay tell me name of three books that you have read then the entire thing that comes up is name of three textbooks might be so please don't create such blunders that will make your exit path very easy whatever your hobbies are be straight be open and just put it in paper it might be listening to music it might be traveling it might be photography it might be uh, reading books x y z whatever it is be honest in that please don't ever put wrong data in your resumes when i mean wrong data might be as a student in ssc you would have got 60% and the quali qualifying or eligibility eligibility criteria was might be 66 or 70 and you for the time being you put in 70 and then say okay we'll see whatever comes right now let me put in 70 guys never ever do this because once you do this they understand that you are not a honest guy and probably you will never ever make it to that company or might be you might be blacklisted to their entire group of companies if you are uh, already employed somewhere and you are applying for a second job please don't quote wrong ctcs because the employers have always good reputation with your previous employers it's all a big system so they will obviously come to know what your previous salary was what type of person you were what an employee you were in the previous organization so lying will not uh, go in your favor in this case so please don't put any wrong data in your cvs please ensure that you put it up exactly as they are guys uh, most of the students who are making their cvs make it in word and uh, they don't even know might be what the red line or green line stands for spelling mistakes as well as grammatical mistakes are automatically detected by word and they also give you suggestion recommended suggestions for the changes so even if you can't make any suggestion correction of your own just give a right click and take one of the suggestions please ensure that you don't make spelling mistakes spelling mistakes can really be horrible don't give the interviewer a chance to reject you just because of such simple things the importance of a resume guys it's a most important tool to market yourself the interviewer has not seen you but this is what you are presenting himself before him so this resume is your probably the first impression in front of that guy and it's your last chance to make it to the personal interview in front of him so if your first impression is good you might get a chance to sit in the uh, personal interviews or might be if you didn't do it well probably you won't get a chance to meet him so ensure that you make your uh, resume to the best possible way because it's very important most of the time the students don't give the due importance due diligence in making their resume they take it very lightly and as a result of which they give it gives a very bad impression or wrong impression in front of the interviewers so please take care that you guys make this 
uh, resume very properly and seriously and more importantly go through your resume again and again and again every time you go through your resume you will obviously find some mistakes and you will be able to refine your resume every single time you go through it guys these are some of the references that i have used you can also go through this and this will also give you the almost the same information that i have passed it on to you uh, i hope this uh, short video would be much more useful to you guys if any of the points are not clear to you you can always go back uh, to the full video which is already available in the uh, youtube page and you can refer that and still if you are having any more queries you can definitely get back into the comment section uh, section and uh, i'll try to answer as much as i can so uh, thank you all guys thank you for watching please uh, do subscribe as well as comment because based on your comments i try to do the best possible for you guys thank you all